Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. If you have been watching our channel, you know that we recently sold our home in the Silver Coast of Portugal. Now, when we listed the home, we listed it for 389,000 euro, but we actually ended up selling the house for more because we sold it completely furnished. Now, if you do the euro to dollar conversion, that's close to $500,000. Now, remember, we bought that house cash, but we still have to pay taxes. But for this video, what we wanna talk about is what we plan to do with those hundreds of thousands of dollars. We always invest with a plan. So we wanna talk about how we plan to invest this money that we just got. And we have multiple plans for it. In terms of where we're putting our money, we're basically putting it into two separate pools of accounts. One is for investing in real estate and we want to do that within the next five years but the other part of our money we're putting into the stock market we're talking about money that we plan on leaving for 10 years or more so with that said the money from the sale of our home 25 percent of that we're going to be putting into the stock market and specifically we're going to be investing it into vtsax which is a total stock market index fund and if you're wondering why VTSAX, it's because our asset allocation plan calls for it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with VTSAX, it's a total stock market index fund from Vanguard that invests in almost 4,000 stocks on the stock market. We think it's the ultimate play when it comes to diversification and growth. And it is something that we've made a ton of videos on. So if you're interested in learning more about VTSAX, check out our investment videos. But if you are also interested in checking out how we have invested for financial independence, how we invested in the past and how we are currently investing, you must check out our 365 days to fire program. Within that program, we share our overall investment plan. And also as a part of that 365 days to fire program, you also get to be a part of an amazing community that spends the next year with each other building their fire plans. And halfway through the program, we all meet up in Portugal to celebrate our progress. It is an amazing program. And so if you want to learn more about it, you can go to 365daystofire.com or check out the link in the description below. So we just talked about putting 25% of the sale of our home into our stock market investing account into VTSAX. Now the remaining 75% of our money, because we need to access it short term, we're going to be putting it into a money market fund. Now there are lots of options for putting money away that you need to be able to access over the short term. You can put it into a money market account, a money market fund, which we are putting our money into, CDs if the CDs don't have certain restrictions and you can access that money, or a high yield savings account. There are lots of options. Now we have chosen to put our money into a money market fund because right now money market funds are a safe place to put your money and the return that you are getting in these accounts is amazing. The current interest rates at Vanguard on their money market funds are over 5%. So it is a great place to store money that you will need to be able to access and get a great return on it. So let's talk more about what money market funds are. So these are types of funds, they're very similar to index funds and they're offered through brokerage firms, but the difference is they invest in specific types of investments that are considered low risk. So the focus with a money market fund is they invest in a basket of different short-term, low-risk financial instruments and securities. So they invest in things like treasuries, low-risk bonds, and CDs, all in a basket of one fund called a money market fund. Now it's very important that when you research your money market fund, you make sure that they are actually investing in low risk assets like US treasuries and things of that nature. Because these money market funds are supposed to safeguard the principal that you put into these accounts. Meaning that the money that you put in, you will at least get that money back. But these money market funds offer additional interest based off of the securities that they are investing in. So for example, right now, interest rates are really high and money market funds that are invested in US treasuries, for example, are returning higher interest rates than a standard savings or checking account. 
And this is really important because when you want money that you need to access over the short term, you really want to have it in a safe type of account and you want it to be accessible as well. The idea is not really to grow your wealth as if you are investing that money in the stock market, but if you have that extra benefit of having money in a money market fund that has over a 5% yield for money that you need to access short term, that is a huge benefit in terms of safeguarding your money keeping it accessible, and also allowing a little bit of growth in the meantime. So now let's talk about the fun part, our next real estate investment. So if you guys have been following our journey, you know that we already own two investment properties on the Silver Coast of Portugal. Well, we plan on buying more real estate in Portugal, either in Lisbon or again on the Silver Coast of Portugal. So how we go about finding this property, we have some criteria in place that we want to talk about. So the first piece of criteria that we're considering is location. Now, if you have been looking at real estate in Portugal, you will find that prices have gone up significantly, but there are still very nice pockets of places that you can invest in that are up and coming, that deals can still be found. And these places are still in very desirable locations here within Lisbon or on the Silver Coast of Portugal. So finding the right location is crucial when it comes to investing in real estate. The next thing is renovation costs and renovation potential. Now we love to do the renovations ourselves and that's how we've always been able to reap the greatest returns on our investments because we save a lot on labor because we can do it ourselves. And so that is the next piece of criteria, finding a piece of property that needs renovations that we can do ourselves or because we've been in Portugal for so long, we've developed a network of contractors that we can give certain work to. And so that is number two. So this leads to the next thing that we're looking at, which is price and profit potential. With us doing the renovations ourselves, we're assuming a greater amount of profit, but we're also looking at the initial sale price, the sale price of the property that we potentially buy. Now with real estate, we found that you always make your money when you buy. If you buy right the first time, then your profit potential is that much more greater. And so the next question many of you will have is how do we go about finding deals in Portugal? Well, there are some criteria that we are just gonna run through very quickly, but this is what we look at when we are trying to find a deal. The first is we're looking for motivated sellers, people that for some circumstances or another are interested in selling fast. The second is we're looking for off-market properties, and we can do this by using our local network, talking to other investors, talking to other home owners. We are looking for that hidden gem. The next is the age of the listing. If we can find a property that has been on the market for a very long time, those sellers are usually more motivated to negotiate a lower price. And the last three criteria is we're looking for distressed properties, bank owned properties, and properties that we can find at auction. If you want to be a real estate investor in Portugal, you must first understand that not all of the best deals are going to be on Idealista. There are going to be bank owned. There are going to be auctions. There are a number of different ways to approach real estate investing in Portugal. And I think that's one of the benefits of living here in Portugal for over four years. We're really thinking outside of the box and learning different ways to invest in properties here in Portugal that can potentially be more profitable. So that's really what we're working on, but also having that money in our money market fund so that we can access very quickly. That gives us greater benefits in terms of how we are looking for properties. If we're looking at a property that is being auctioned off, for example, and we need to access that cash that we have to purchase that home immediately, we have that money because it's sitting in our money market fund. So we have entered into a new chapter in our financial independence, retired early life, and we are so excited to bring you guys along on that journey. As things progress, we'll be sure to give you guys updates. And if you have questions, if there are videos that you guys want us to make that go into more detail about anything that we talked about in this video, please leave a comment in the description below. And as usual, if you guys have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey. So thanks for watching our video, but before we let you go, we wanted to let you know that our year-long action-oriented program 
for pursuing financial independence and retiring early is open now. Our 365 Days to Fire program. It is a one of a kind program that helps you get closer to your financial independence and retiring early goals. And so if you are interested in this program, please go to 365daystofire.com and check out everything that this program has to offer. Yes, please check it out. We're so excited to be going into our third year of this program. As part of the program, we have exciting in-person meetups here in Portugal. We have people break up into smaller accountability groups and do activities with their groups. You have daily fire tasks. You have plans that you create. You create an entire fire plan that includes your stock investing plan, your real estate investing plan, your estate plan, your side hustle plan. Every single plan gets accumulated into your fire plan. And we also have a coaching plan as part of this program where you can get feedback from us. We review your plans and you can ask us any of your fire related questions. So again, if you are interested in signing up for this program, enrollment is open now. You can go to 365 days to fire.com and we'll also leave a link in the description below.